Hey guys. Okay. So I think I am live, but I wanted to go live and I wanted to talk to you guys for a second about something um, that just really today, this evening, I look like a train wreck. Um, I have not felt good. My allergies are off the chain. I have taken three allergy pills today. So I maybe I'm not like fully with it. And maybe that's playing with my emotions, but, um, I received, okay. So you can see my Peloton in the back. I received my Peloton last Monday and today I completed my seventh workout in a row. Um, actually I think it's like nine workouts I've done, but I completed my week straight even though I didn't feel like it, it was about the consistency and it was about the, pop, the, the fact that I can, um, my shirt feels made for more, but if you're watching this live, I want you to drop a one. If you're catching the recording, drop a two, but something that just really hit me and it kind of hit me hard. Um, this weekend I was I pulled every single one of my fingernails off at the football game yesterday. They were dipped nails and I ripped them all off out of pure nerves. Um, I convinced Jeremiah and I convinced um, with a lot of persuasion for Cade to try a season of football this year. All he's ever played really is baseball and um, Sophie cheers. So we spend Saturdays at the ballpark anyways. We're like, just give it a try. And he kept saying, I'll play in high school, I'll play in high school. I'll do it, I'll, I'll do it someday. I'm, I'm just not ready yet. And my thought to him was, you're never gonna be ready if you decide that as a freshman, when in the South they start playing when they're in kindergarten, you're never going to be ready. And so many pieces of this, I'm going to tie it into the business, but, um, I kept, I kept thinking, gosh, the longer you wait, the harder it's going to be. The longer you wait, the more likelihood of you getting hurt because these kids are going to be so much stronger than you. They're going to be so much more prepared than you. And so finally he decided to play and it's been, it's been a journey. Um, but honestly, this kid, like I, for, for a kid that is, doesn't want to do something outside of his comfort zone for, um, he likes to play it safe. He likes to do things that he knows he's good at. And, um, he's really impressed me this season playing and, you know, that, let me wrap that up in the business really quick. Um, you all got started. Everybody got started for a reason. And there's so many people that sit on the sidelines and they're like, oh, when I have more time, oh, when I have more money, oh, when I have this, when I have that, when my life's not so busy, when I'm not working crazy hours, when, um, you know, there's not a pandemic going on, when I move to a new city, when I get divorced, when I blah, 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 we can come up with all the reasons to not join the business. We do deal the deal with this with our potentials, but we can also come up with all the reasons to not work the business once you're in the business. And so if you can relate to that, drop a me in the comments, but I think it's so quick that like our reason for joining the business is that, you know, for me, honestly, like we, we, we wanted extra money, um, because extra money would help us pay down, um, credit card debt would help us pay down student loan debt would help us do these things financially so I didn't have to work 60 hours a week as a nurse between two hospitals um, with a 45 minute commute one way. I'm gonna cry before this is over, I'm just warning you. Um, but I, what that meant more than I need the money is I'm gonna be the mom in the bleachers. I do much allergy medicine, I think. Um, but that meant if I could pay down our debt and I didn't have to work 60 hours a week, then I could be the mom in the bleachers. That meant that I didn't have to work overtime. I didn't have to work weekends just to be able to pay down the debt. Like I didn't have to do the extra things to get that extra differential money that was going to go towards just us surviving instead of like truly thriving in the life that we, you know, we had dreamt of this life and we were, we were watching it pass so quickly. And so, um, you know, my husband's out of town hunting right now. And yesterday I got to go to the game and 
I'm just sitting there and next thing I know, like the whole team, and he's fine. <laughs> I'm just emotional because this business has changed my life, but the whole team is down on a knee before I realize it's my kid that's hurt. And it wasn't a big deal. I think it scared him more than anything, but I ran to the fence and he got up and I was like, oh, I was like, is that number 18? I couldn't see, I couldn't see his jersey. I could see his white shoes. And I was like, oh my God, is that number 18? And one of the guys was like, yeah. And I was like, oh my God, that's Kane. And so he gets up and he comes over to the fence or he comes over to his coaches. And I was like, buddy, come here, come here, come here. So he comes over to me and I just grabbed his helmet and I like hugged him in. One of the other moms brought over an ice pack and I was like, what, what hurts? And he was holding his elbow and a helmet had hit his elbow and it had like scraped the skin off of it. And you could already see where it was like swelling a little bit and starting to bruise. And so it just, I think it scared him more than anything, but it made me so emotional because if it wasn't for this business, I could have missed that moment. And it was like so full circle. I want to show you this picture. It was so full circle because my friend Candace takes pictures um, just like randomly for us. And look at this picture that she was able to catch of me, not only being the mom in the bleachers, but the mom at the fence, the mom that got to be there and to comfort him and tell him, you're going to be okay. Wipe your brow. You're fine. Let's ice it real quick. Get back out with your team. And then he did hard things and he went back out and played again. And so I tell you guys this to tell you that this business isn't always going to be easy, but it's worth it. And there's been times that I have fallen back so much in this business. I've been I've been rock bottom before starting this business where I just really felt like it couldn't get much. I mean, we were, we were happy. We, we had things to be happy for, but we were, we were miserable and drowning in debt. And it just felt like there was no end. And it was the bigger picture for me. When I started, I just wanted an extra $500 because I thought that meant I'll be closer I can pay $500 a month. I took every penny I was making here and rolled it into debt. Like the Dave Ramsey debt snowball. And I rolled it into debt. And I just thought if I can get that extra $500, big, big goal here. Maybe by the time he's a freshman in high school, I can be the mom in the bleachers instead of the mom on FaceTime. And I busted my tail and I paid off $160,000 in debt over the last seven and a half, almost eight years to be the mom that got to be in that picture, not the mom standing on this side of the screen. When somebody calls me and says, Kate's hurt, I wasn't here FaceTiming. I was right there where I was, where I needed to be. And I will tell you that starting from rock bottom, going to ambassador, falling, I mean, plummeting back down, crappy times in my business, large portions of my team going to another company, rebuilding, staying consistent, keeping my blinders on, on why I started this business. I have a, I have a handwritten sticky note over here that says, I understand what the bottom feels like. And that makes me appreciate the top. I, I've been there, you guys, and that's why I will, I refuse to go back there. Refuse. If you don't know where you're going next, there is no next for you. You've got to make a decision that you're ready to change your life, that you're done just wanting to change your life and decide you're changing your life. And in almost eight years, I've, I've, had, I've done great things in this business. We made it into the Millionaires Club. We've, you know, we've done really great things financially in this business. But have I questioned myself of, you know, has the devil chirped in my ear and said, like, oh, you're a one-hit wonder, you can't do it again? Oh, yeah, you're just not that good of a leader anymore. 
Ugh, you don't know how to teach people to be successful. Like, do you think that those things don't happen to top leaders? They 100% do. And it's the decision to put your blinders on for your goals. Because if I'm achieving my goals, that means other people are achieving theirs too. And I'll tell you what, God didn't put this opportunity in your lap just for you. He put it in your lap for you to help other people as well. And this four in one, earning the Christmas cash already, doing that in one month instead of in 90 days, I did that because I needed to prove to myself that it was possible and that I can do it again. And I'm never clocking back into a hospital again. I don't care. I'll keep my license. I don't care how bad it gets. I refuse. The days are numbered. And I put that in the post that I wrote about that picture. People always say like that are nurses to me, like, oh, well, I'm a nurse and I get to go to all my kids stuff. Well, maybe you weren't in the same financial situation as me, but there are times where you have to work every other weekend, every, you know, once a weekend, a quarter, whatever it may be, every other Christmas, those days are numbered. And I don't want to be at some of them. I want to be at all of them. And that is what this business has provided me. So I love you guys. And while I was in the like raw of the emotion, like I wanted to share that with you guys because you guys deserve to hear it because you're worth it too. And so is your why. So I love you all. I'm telling you, this is out there for every single one of you. I don't care what BS excuse you're giving yourself. It's there. You have to decide that you're going to take it and run with it. It's there for you to take. You can do this. My calendar for today says be grateful for all that you are and all that you are becoming. I'm grateful for the 2014 Ashley that was miserable because she made me realize I don't ever want to be that person again. And maybe you don't know exactly what you want. But start thinking about the things you don't want in your life anymore. And you might see a complete 180, 360, whatever whatever it is. You might see a completely different why come out of that. You're worth it. You deserve it. And this opportunity was put in your lap for a reason. So go out there and use it to change your life. I love you guys. I hope you had a great weekend. And I will talk to you later.